What's pop locking and dropping fellow music makers today? I'm going to be showing each and every one of you what I believe to be the future of Playboy Cardi type beats. Now, after seeing Playboy Cardi at Rolling Loud, which was an amazing experience, by the way, I kind of have a feeling that he's going to delve deep into the metal sound in his next album. Now, you might be asking, where's your evidence for this? And my evidence is that I'm a YouTuber and I have more subscribers than you. That means I am better than you and more knowledgeable than you. In all seriousness, I have zero evidence for this claim, but I feel like it'd be cool for Cardi to kind of incorporate metal aspects into his style. And by watching this tutorial, you, yes you, can be on the front page when people search up metal Playboy Cardi type beats in the future. So you don't want to miss out on this opportunity. Watch the rest of this video or you will regret it in the future or don't, it's completely up to you. So without going into any other tangents, this is the beat that we're going to be covering today. <laughs> So the first thing that I started with was this metal guitar. And the VST that I used for this is the same VST that I use all the time when it comes to metal guitar, and that is Ample Metal Eclipse. I honestly can't recommend Ample Metal Eclipse enough. It's super intuitive, it has a bunch of cool effects that you can use within the plugin, and it just has a really nice semi-realistic sound. So I'm gonna break this melody down like I did with my old videos and do it piece by piece. The first thing that I laid down was our root note playing a very basic rhythmic pattern. After that, I added in these half-step intervals. Now, I am working in the key of D minor harmonic, which I heavily recommend working in if you're gonna make these kind of dark, sinister melodies. And within the minor harmonic scale, there are three groups of half-step intervals, and those half-step intervals make for some great tension and suspense in your melodies. Next, I just filled in the rhythmic gaps with some more half-step intervals. Now this sounds pretty cool as a melody, but I felt like it needed some more variation, especially because it's just one stagnant root note. And my go-to for creating variation in that situation is to double the second part of the melody up by an octave. And by doing this, I'm basically just mimicking an octave harmony, which is very common in metal. So with that being said, this is what our final melody sounds like. And for the chorus, that is the only aspect that I laid down for the melody. I wanted to keep this beat simple, and I also wanted the drums to be the main focus point of this beat. So by only having one melody, I'm not really distracting the listener from the drums. And if you want to know how I mix my melodies, you can check out the video in the top left where I go over just that. So now that we've covered the melody, let's go into the drums. The first thing that I laid down is the 808, and this is what it sounds like. Honestly, the pattern is pretty simple, so I don't really need to go into it. But as you can see up here, I am using the Spins 808, and that really doesn't sound like the normal Spins 808. And that's because for mixing, I added in Fruity Fast Distortion on the A panel with the mix down to 21%, as well as Fruity Fast Distortion on the B panel with the mix down to 33%. Along with that, I also went to the pre-computed effects, boosted the gain by 4%, and boosted the EQ by 55%. And all of that just gave me the desired sound of this super blown out and gritty 808. The next thing that I threw down is a clap and a snare, playing a very basic pattern. Something that I like to do when I layer a clap and a snare is I'll route them both to a mixer bus. This allows me to monitor the level of both of them in one insert, and to me it's just much easier that way. After that, I threw down this counter snare for some bounce. Next, I threw down a hat playing a very basic pattern. And finally, I laid down this open hat. If I could give you one tip on how to make your 808s hit harder, it doesn't actually pertain to the 808s. I don't know the actual science behind it, but layering your 808 with something that has high frequency registers like an open hat or white noise or something of that nature just makes the 808 hit so much harder and stand out much more in the mix. So with everything all together, this is what the drums are sounding like. Now 
to kind of mimic the long-winded intros Cardi does for his live performances, I decided to make this intro like 40 seconds long and have a huge build up to the chorus, which really amplifies the effect of the drop. So let's go over that. The first thing that I threw down is this long droning subby synth. And then along with that, I threw down various cinematic effects, such as this knife foldy. And this little horror sound effect. And I let all of that play out for eight bars. Next, I threw down these deep muted chugs from Ample Metal Eclipse yet again. And if you want to achieve that sound within an Ample Guitar plugin, all you're going to do is go over here and hit the Palm Mute setting. And then just play some super low spaced out notes for some suspense. After that, I throw down various risers, impacts, and down sweeps, and then I introduce our main melody. After that, we build up into the chorus with this huge riser and something that I've been implementing in a lot of my beats recently, which is maniacal laughter. Now, this one, I believe, is Kira from Death Note. I could be wrong. But in my Armageddon multi kit, which is perfect for trap metal, I have a bunch of maniacal laughter sound effects and dogs barking sound effects, as well as a bunch of custom drum sounds and custom metal guitar loops. Just a little bit of shameless promotion there. So with that being said, this is what the intro going into the chorus sounds like all together. So with all of that being said, that is going to pretty much cover how to make what I believe to be the future of Playboy Cardi type beats. Hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial and learned something new. If you have any questions, please feel free to throw them in the comments down below and I will do my best to answer them. Also consider checking out my Patreon where I post all of the FLPs for all of my beats in all of my past, present, and future tutorials as well as all of my sound kits. And finally, consider subscribing as I post one tutorial every single week and two sound kits a month. Other than that, that's going to be it. Peace.